Hey church, my name is Chip and I'm part of the missions team. Hope you're enjoying these devotions. I get to do devotions today, woohoo! <laughs> we really wanna set you up with a great day and where better to start than in the word of God. Um, we're doing a little series right now called My Mission, My Influence. So as part of the missions team at Audacious Church, this is like, my Christmas. Um, and not too long ago, I was invited to speak to our Audacious College students about the topic of cultivating a heart for evangelism. Oh my goodness, we had such a great night. It was amazing, as it always is at Audacious College. If you haven't done Audacious College yet, big shout out to those guys. You need to sign yourself up. Just give God some space and he will do miracles through you. It was great. It was really good. But probably my biggest takeaway from that night wasn't anything that I brought. It was actually something that the students collectively brought. Um, I'd reached the part of the talk where we're looking at sowing seeds for the gospel. And just like any healthy thing grows uh, when it comes to sharing our faith and evangelism, we've got to start by sowing good seed. And all it did was I wiped the whiteboard clean from the last thing that we looked at, the obstacles that stand in the way of evangelism. And um, and I just invited people, hey, why don't you guys break up into small groups, talk about some of the things that you think uh, this seed looks like um, in terms of actually outworking in our own lives. What does it look like to sow good seed of evangelism? And I actually took a picture of the whiteboard after we finished. Let me show you what some of these things were that people wrote. This is awesome, right? I bullet pointed it in the uh, the written version of this devotion. Random acts of kindness. Yes. Regular contact with unbelievers. Humility. Hospitality. Accepting vulnerability, personal vulnerability. Transparency. Boldness. Confidence. Being able to ask great questions. Living by example prayer, the weekend question. I've unpacked what I mean by that. That's being able to answer the question, what did you do at the weekend? By talking about church, talking about God encounters. This is the verse for today. You ready for this? I hope you are. Galatians chapter six, verse nine says, and let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season, we shall reap if we do not lose heart. I think the point is really clear that just like any good farmer would sow seeds expecting to reap a harvest, we cannot reap a harvest of people coming to know Jesus, salvation, unless we're ready to sow seeds of the gospel. And I just really pray for you right now that you would be able to dig deep today, sow good seed. You know, maybe that means having a conversation a little bit longer than what you would like to have with somebody who doesn't know Jesus. Maybe uh, it's just doing something really kind, just acting out of the goodness of your heart. You know, goodness is one of the fruits of the Spirit. I didn't talk about this in the written version, but goodness comes from God. If you're lacking that quality of being good and showing goodness and demonstrating goodness, why not ask Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit to give you more of that goodness. And I believe that our good God, through your good acts of kindness and goodness, is going to reap lots of salvation, lots of people, not just knowing about Jesus, but knowing Jesus. So Lord, that's what I pray for everybody watching this. I pray that your hand would be upon them, that they would begin to sow good seed for the gospel and reap a great harvest of salvation. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Have a great day. Love you loads.